So it is finally confirmed that May and Yo are not legally divorced. Some rumors has been going on on social media. Bloggers are carrying the rumors, inciting that Yo Edoche and the first wife, Win May, are legally divorced. They are not legally divorced. I will give you guys updates as time goes on. The right source from the family, from the Edoche's family, confirmed that to me today. Confirmed with me today. And also, Rita Edoche, you guys know that Rita Edoche is an auntie to Yo Edoche. Last week, she published that on her Instagram page handle saying that Queen May is still legally married to Yo Edoche. Yo Edoche is still legally married to Queen May. Now, the question should be why is Yo and what's her name? Judy. All over social media singing, uh, uh, doing content on Yul's Facebook handle. I will answer the questions. I asked the question, but I will answer according to what people, according to some of the comments that I've been reading in other people's page. They said, again, I didn't say, <laughs> they say that Yo Adoche, all his endorsements has been dropped. The people, most people that endorsed him to advertise for him in most businesses has finally dropped him. Is this true? Are you guys hearing the same thing that I'm hearing? And another person said that they are chasing cloud. Nobody is above chasing cloud, even me. I chase clout too, right? Anybody can chase clout, depending on the definition of clout chasing. People are also saying that because Facebook is paying, and this is why y'all, Edoche, and uh, Judy decided to be releasing loads and loads of content where they're singing. You know what? It's, people are entitled to their own opinion, but for me, what I really think is that Yo Edoche is still mourning. Yo Edoche, whatever he's doing, he does, he's not doing it in his right frame of mind. Also, people say that he might be under spell. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts and your comments. Honestly, why, why, on I don't know. I am so confused. We should fear Nigerians. You see Nigerians, fear them. Not all of them. Fear some of them. So many Nigerians are now dancing to the tone of Judy and, and Yo. And it doesn't matter. Igbo men are allowed to marry many wives. My dear, why is it that you guys always forget so, so fast? You can marry in Igbo tradition. You can marry as many wives. I don't know. Our forefathers did marry three, four, four, three, four, five, whatever wives, as long as you can maintain and take care of them. But it must be done appropriately. The first wife must okay that. In some cases, it's really the first wife. As the first wife is aging, she will be the one to help bring younger women to the husband to introduce them as the husband's like introduce a second or third wife but in this case yo went ahead impregnated this lady they had a child together the first wife was not aware of that and then he didn't come around and come on social media just because these bloggers has broadcasted that he came and told the world through social media this is how the wife get to know you know and me for sometimes let us be putting ourselves in some people's shoes may is happily legally married staying in her matrimonial home and another person comes into the matrimonial home to take over the home 
and all of you guys, some of you guys, not all, some of you guys are applauding nonsense, saying that, hey, it's okay, it's okay, after all, Judy and, uh, after all, me and y'all has been like her, their relationship has been shaky. Why did, uh, why did Judy Austin not wait for that relationship to break down completely before coming inside her? inside their home as long as i am concerned judy austin is the bone of contention in that household judy and yo yo let me tell you let me tell you in case you don't know you have put fire in your house it is only you that can quench that fire look at what your children are going through at their age stress you are the father and you're stressing your kids like this. It's a shame. 